Hi guys, I hope you all are doing well and welcome to the next video of Microsoft Intune series. In the last video, we learned how to add and deploy Microsoft 365 applications to Windows devices using Microsoft Intune. In this particular video, we are going to learn how to add and deploy web applications to Windows devices using Microsoft Intune. A web application is a client server application that is separately managed on the web. With the help of Microsoft Intune, you can create a shortcut on the machines to redirect the user's request to that application. For example, I have this website and I want to create a shortcut or an icon on the machines so that my users can directly go to that application by just clicking on that icon. This is just an example. You can add any web application to the Windows devices using Microsoft Intune. So to add a web application, you will log into Microsoft Endpoint Manager with one of the global administrator or Intune administrator accounts. And you will go to apps. Under by platform, you will click Windows because we are going to add application for Windows devices. And here you can see the applications. Those are already added in Microsoft Intune and are assigned to the devices. And if you want to add a new application, you will click add. Under app type, you will look for web link. So click web link and then click select. Now here you need to fill in the details related to the web application that you want to add. For my case, I'll give it a name. Office 365 concepts description will be, for example, web application publisher. Office 365 concepts and for app URL. You need the URL of the application. Paste the URL here. This is the URL for my website. Next is require a managed browser to open this link. Let's say you have enrolled or you have added Microsoft Edge to Windows devices using Microsoft Intune. So that is the managed browser that is managed through Intune. So if you want that this application should be opened with the help of only Microsoft Edge, you will select yes, else you will select no. Now, if you select yes, then make sure that particular browser is managed through Intune. So I'll select no because I do not have a managed browser as of now. Next is category. You can select the category as for the web application. Let's say productivity. Next is show this as a featured app in the company portal. If you select yes, in that case, this particular application will reflect in company portal as a featured application. If you select no, in that case, this application will not reflect as a featured app in company portal. Next, these are the optional details. If you want, you can fill in them. Click next. Now under assignments, you need to assign this web application to the group of users or to all the users or to all the devices or even you can use group of devices under required. If you want that this particular web application should be added automatically to the Windows device, then add the group of users or devices under required. If you want this application to be reflected in company portal and user should go to company portal to access this application, then use available for enrolled devices. Next is available with or without enrollment. If you want to add an application to the device that is not enrolled using Microsoft Intune, in that case, you can add those groups or users under this assignment type. And this is for uninstall. If you want to uninstall an application from a particular device. So for this demo, I want that this particular application should be added automatically to the Windows machine. Now, in case of Windows devices, if you add a web application on Windows machine, that particular application will reflect as an icon in start menu. So let's add one of the groups within this required assignment type. But first, let me create a group and let me add a particular device in this group. So for this demo, I'm going to use this particular machine and. Let's check the host name of this machine ends with F17. So let's go back. And let's create a new group and let me copy. 
the display name of this device as well. So the device name is F17. Go to group. Group type will be security. And let's give it a name, deploy web app. Membership type will be dynamic device because we are going to add device within the security group. Go to dynamic query and here we will add the device based on its display name. So the value will be the host name of the device and click save and click create. So the security group is created. Let's refresh the browser. So we can see the group is created, deploy web app. Let's go to members. We can see the device is added as well as a member. Now let's go to endpoint manager under required, click add group and let's add this security group, deploy web app. Click select, next and click create. So we have created a web application policy and we have assigned this policy on the device as well. Here you can see the publisher operating system created date and time and assigned yes. Now let's go to the machine and let's sync the changes. Let me close teams. So to sync the changes, we will go to settings. Go to accounts, access work or school, click info, and then click sync. So now this machine will connect with Microsoft Endpoint Manager and it will pull the recent configuration that we just did on Microsoft Endpoint Manager. So the sync is completed and now let's search for this application. This is SharePoint group. So this is the application that we just deployed Office 365 concepts. Let's click on this application. And this is redirected to the web application. So this is how you deploy a web application to the Windows machines using Microsoft Intune. Now, if you want, you can pin this application to the start menu, right click and then click pin to start. Now, whenever end user will click on Windows icon, he can see this icon here. User can simply click on this application and he will be redirected to this web application. In the next video, we will learn how to add and deploy Win32 applications to Windows devices using Microsoft Intune. So if you have learned something new from this particular video, please write in comments and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys. Thank you for your time. Take care.